sent my boy flying. So then Deborah comes back and tries to lay the hands on him again, but he literally turns this man into a cookie and he straight up devours this. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Not not you out here turning this. I want to know what kind of cookie it was though. Was it a sugar cookie? like my audience really do like watching cj vids i know i got put on to cj kind of late um versus my other counterparts and i kind of wanted to watch this one because you know it's an older one i didn't get the chance to react to it i didn't know about it so without further ado let's go ahead let's get into it majin boo the me the ultimate menace of dragon ball z himself the the motherfucker with the Black Air Force energy, the origin of what who it is that I know about. <sighs> Without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's get into this. Majin Buu, the ultimate menace. Let's get into this damn video, y'all. Let's do it. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. So then Boo looks at her and he says, do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg. Then he said, I like my scramble, bitch. No, we watched another one. We watched another one. Menaces. Truly terrifying creatures. The rarest breed of the anime character. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> ignorance, disrespect, and disregard for human life is just unmatched. That is why we made a round table for these rare breeds of menaces. And the person leading that charge of is the little pink ass. <laughs> this absolute menace, absolute demon. The ultimate black air force, Majin Buu. This thing is the ultimate personification of a hood. Like, th this ain't even like a black Air Force. This is a black Tim, a Fila, a Shaq, a damn Fubu. This little nigga is just absolutely terrifying. There's a reason he's at the front. So, uh, y'all already know your boy got the evidence on deck. And then yeah, it's bring it to us. To observe the ultimate menace. So, without further ado, <clears throat> exhibit A. Oh right, boy. ladies and gentlemen. So as we know, Majin Buu has multiple various forms. And with each form, he gets even worse, worse to just outright what the f So obviously we have to start from the beginning. So I present to you exhibit A, oh Fat boy. Buu. So as we know, Goku and Vegeta are fighting right now and that's giving all the energy for Buu to wake up. So when Buu hatches out his shell and everybody sees him, everybody's looking like, you telling me this fat ass Captain D's Patrick Star Kirby looking mother is a terror of the universe? <laughs> you gotta be kidding, right? Like, look at him. He's waddling. So, DeBoer is looking at. See, y'all already underestimating his power, bro. And he and he had a saw on his face. That's where you messed up. Bobby, like, really, my boy? You was really hyping all this up? <laughs> what a pity. So then Boo looks over at him and he's like, boy, I don't know you ain't talking shit with that receding ass hairline. Like, goddamn, your shit look worse than Vegeta's. So then Boo starts. Steaming. And then he smiles at him and he swings and gouges out his eyes. Look at him, he like, nah, 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 boo boo. Shut your stupid ass up. You see what it is that I mean? Y'all underestimated his power. So then he had to go ahead, he had to turn up. You know, that's what you get. This man just laid out the Demon King with a kick. Look at Gohan, he like, ain't no way, boy. I just had a whole three episode fight with this man and he just kicked him like a rag doll. Ah, hell no, time to go. So why they flying booting already caught up? He like, oh, where y'all think y'all going? The fun just getting started. Look at Supreme Kai, he like, oh my God. I'm about no to No way, yeah. He just clapped his face. 
He just started beating the brakes off his ass. Then this man comes from the top rope like the Big Show and sits on his ass. His ribs, his organs, his spine. Oh, that man is done. So then Gohan comes in and tries to stop him, but Boo said, get your bum ass out my sight. Home run. God, sit my boy flying. So then Deborah comes back and tries to lay the hands on him again, but he literally turns this man into a cookie and he straight up devours this. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Not not you out here turning this. I want to know what kind of cookie it was though. Was it a sugar cookie? Hmm, <laughs> one bite too? Damn. Bite. Oh nah, bro. This man literally just turned the demon king into a damn gingerbread man and devoured him in one <laughs> bite. So then Vegeta pulls up, but <laughs> Come on, y'all. It's Vegeta. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Vegeta's my favorite character, and I already knew he was gonna get his ass beat. So he wraps him up and traps him. And look at him skipping. He's like, hippity doo da. I'm about to whoop that ass. And with Yippee. a smile on his face. Here we go. Boom. Straight up booted, man. Then he comes from the top rope again and. Oh, God damn. This like just that. started pounding him. Like me, 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 and that done, bro. GG. So Vegeta's like, well then, if I can't beat him, might as well just blow myself up then. Drunks, love you, kid, but to be honest with you, you were an accident. <laughs> and that man Vegeta <laughs> blew himself up, and he took Boo with him. <laughs> or so we thought. This man really rebuilt himself, and he is still kicking, bro. So after this, Boo just goes on a complete rampage. They went to this one city, so he's like, all right, everybody bring that ass up. So then he's like, all right, what I want to eat? Cake or candy? Mm, candy. So he turns everybody in that city into candy. The man started inhaling them like Kirby. And this man just really. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. This, this nigga is a menace. This nigga is a menace. You mean to tell me it is he had a whole thought process of what it is that he wanted and he turned an entire city of folks into candy? He got this big ass grin on his face. Gobbled up this entire town in the amount of seconds. He decided to spit it out and bro just laid out the entire city. Then he went to the next one, lifted them up and turned every single one of them into a chocolate bar. So after this, Goku finally pulled up and pulled out SS3 after, you know, like screaming his ass off for like the entirety of the damn episode. Man was looking like he was taking the fattest doodle of his life. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. Goku was beating the brakes off his ass though. Man grabbed him by his antenna and started playing paddle ball with him. Look at him, boing, 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 boing. Nah, well, nasty like work. Doing this with no effort. Then he throws him into an entire building. Bro, Goku, bro. I thought you was all about saving the people. Terry. Ain't no way it is that you mentioned fucking Arby's in my damn chat, bro. You knew better. I heard full of earth, but apparently not. Bro, chucked him into a bunch of innocent people and chucked him into a whole building with probably people still in it. And look at him, he like, man, f*** them n***as. We'll wish him back with the Dragon Balls. So then Goku powers down and he's like, all right, listen, my boy. I'm about to run out of time, so I got a proposition for you. Wait two days, and there's gonna be a warrior that's gonna wanna box you. And also, stop listening to that bum ass chameleon. Like, for real, my boy, you show off him. So, after Goku dips, who's like, man, you know what? He was right. So, he grabs him and punches his head off. Then, bro chunked him and blew him to smithereens. Then, look at him, he's like, ah, yes. <laughs> Boo, free man. Hip, hip, hooray, no more bum ass chameleon. So, later on, he's flying around, and then he's like, Ugh. Who getting tired, man? So he stops in the middle of the road in front of this truck. So the dude in the truck is like, hey, get your fat ass off the road, huh? So Boo turns around and he says, Mister, I have a question. Am I handsome? Then the dude in the truck like, hell no, nah, nigga, you get no bitches. Now get the fuck out the road. Then he looks at him and he's like, sit your stupid ass up. <laughs> truck coon ain't got shit on me. So then he says, you know what? This is a good spot for a house. So he lifts everybody up, turns them into Play-Doh, and builds a literal house out of them. Man, it's dead ass on creative mode at this point. So I
Oh my god. Oh my god. After this, Boo continues his rampage. So we see these boats and he's like, hmm, Boo play with boats. So this man starts skating on the water and bro blasted through the ship. So homie right here is drowning. So then he grabs on the Boo. And Boo's looking at him like, nigga, get your bitch ass off me. And dog sent him to the moon. So then Gotenks pulls up and you already know this man talking shit. And it's like, you fat Captain D's Big Mac number one combo bitch ass Oh, don't think I'm done, old Pillsbury dope boy looking ass Oh, 2012, these can't hold me back. Rick Ross looking ass But But y'all already know, Boo was not having that disrespect. Absolutely we just started not. beating the brakes off his little ass. Man, was like, stop playing with me. Then he picks my piece like, oh yeah, you was talking about that good a second ago. And now look at you, beat the fuck up. Man, send that boy Damn, to he the got the shadow room. Not. So then after this, Mr. Satan pulls up and they actually become friends. So they outside playing with this dog and this hunter ends up shooting the dog. So Boo's like, oh my God, what, what, what is this debauchery? It, it, am I feeling some type of sympathy right now? Absurd. So after this, Boo starts steaming again. And then he shoots out this cloud. And in that cloud is another boo, but he's skinny and he's gray. What? And he walks up to him and he's like, hey, nigga, did I just catch you feeling some type of sympathy? We don't do that, bitch. So he starts punishing this man, beating the absolute brakes off of him. So boo shoots his beam at him, but bro blows it away and it hits him and he turns into chocolate. And bruh just ate him. <laughs> and then he starts to transform. So yeah, that was exhibit A, and it's time to move on to exhibit B. Oh no, not the right, ladies, ultimate I now present menace to you version. Exhibit B. Super Ugh. Boo. Yes. So as we can see, Boo has turned into Super Boo. And this is where it just started to get outlandish. Yep. So the first thing that this man does is jump in homie's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, this is like actually disgusting. I'm not showing this. Shit. But anyway, so he ends up blasting off to the lookout. So when he gets to the lookout, he's like, "I right, listen up. I was promised a fight two days ago that there's gonna be some strong ass. So produce that ass. Come on now, chop chop. Don't be shy." So Piccolo ends up making a grave mistake. So Goten and Trunks aren't ready to fight. So he ends up saying, "There's plenty of other people on Earth that you can kill for your amusement while you wait." So Boo's like. I bet. So he starts walking around the lookout and he's surveying how many humans are left alive right now. So after he's done, he lifts up his hand and uses human extinction attack. And he straight up deletes the entire human population. So after he's done, he's like, all right, I'm done. Now bring that ass. So Piccolo's like, all right, listen, listen, my boy, just give us one hour. That's all we need. And bro's like, an hour? Mm -hmm. Hell no. So then Fidel starts talking. She's like, it's just an hour. I hope you're not scared or you're a chicken. Then Boo looks at her. He's like, shut your stupid ass up with that cell saga Gohan cut you got going on right now. <laughs> Matter of fact, I should just kill you. So then Piccolo's like, yo, just chill out, bro. And just wait the hour. So about five minutes later, while Boo's waiting, Chi Chi does one of the dumbest things I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. So then Boo looks at her and he says, do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg. Then he said, I like my scramble, bitch. Oh man. Oh man, see, listen. You should have never did that. You should have never did that, gang. You should have you just sat there and ate your food, to be honest. God, he literally turned her into an egg and stomped her like a roach in front of her son. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So about half the time passes now and Boo's like, you know what? I'm done with this weight. Bring that ass now. Piccolo was like, bro, it's only been 30 minutes. But like, I, 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 I'm done with this. If I don't get this fade right now, I'm deleting all y'all. So Piccolo takes him to the hyperbolic time chamber so he can fight Gotenks. So he's back there and he's like, really? These little goofy ass niggas? All right, bet then. 
So they start to do the fusion dance, but Boo blitzes Trunks and socks him. Oh. So Trunks is like, yo, bro, chill. How you gonna attack a S Transformer, bro? That's anime rule number one. You just committed taboo. So when they finally fuse, Boo's like, oh, it's you. I already ran your fade once, but <laughs> I guess I'll do it again. Oh well, yeah, bro. Boo was just bullying him again. Bro straight up juggled man's and sent him all the way back to the door. Like, look at man's bro. He's just chilling, living his best life. So after this, Piccolo ends up destroying the hyperbolic time chamber. So he's like, haha, now nobody can get out of here. So Boo's like, ain't no way, bro. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If I'm stuck in here, I ain't getting no more candy. Oh, now this just won't do. So this man literally screamed a hole and teared open the dimension. So bro just straight up slithered away. So he comes back outside and starts looking at everybody. And then he says, chocolate. Chocolate! Just <laughs> 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 kill everybody. He just turned the entire cast into chocolate. chocolate. Bro, straight up devoured their souls. So later on, when he's fighting Gotenks again, they end up unfusing. So, bro, just fell asleep. Bro, say it ain't even worth it at this point. So then. Ultimate Gohan pulls Completely up. Completely out of pocket. And wanted all the smoke. But straight up stared homie down and said, I'm gonna kill you. And he started laying the hands on them. Bro was looking like he was fighting Cell again. But of course it didn't last long. Man straight up absorbed Gotenks and Piccolo. And Gohan literally sat there and watched him do it. So then after this, it was raps, bro. He was beating the brakes off of Gohan. So then TN shows up. <laughs> Mm. I'm sorry, I can't take this seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> TN? Yeah, bro, no, get your ass out of here. And then bro just ended up absorbing Gohan too. So then he ends up smacking around Goku and Vegeta like they some damn ragdolls. So then they have to resort to using Vegito. Man, oh man. This was a undeniable ass whooping. Vegeta was smacking him up. Like this wasn't even funny. So after Goku and Vegeta beat the brakes off of Boo and rescue everybody that he's absorbed, he starts to transform again. Mm -hmm. And dear God, mm -hmm. it's time for Exhibit C. So without further ado, Exhibit C. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached the climax. And Lord have mercy, may God help us all. Exhibit C consists of Kid Boo. So as we can see, <laughs> yeah. Boo is transforming right now <laughs> this, from this, this really nigga big here, bro. form. And Supreme Kai is losing his mind right now. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The ultimate Black Air Force. No, 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 let me not even say that. The ultimate menace. Kid Boo. Probably got so a mouthful like, of silver teeth. Uh, look, Kakarot, the little got smaller. And they hella confident right now. So while this is happening, Supreme Kai is having PTSD right now. Bro's like, yo, this is the dude that killed all of the Kais. West Kai, gone. North Kai, gone. South Kai, gobbled up. Grand Supreme Kai, dead. You wanna know why I became Supreme Kai? Cause everybody else is dead. So stop acting like sh is sweet. Mm -hmm. So Moo starts admiring the scenery. So bro's like, hmm, time to assert my dominance. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Then right after he's done, he shoots a key blast immediately. So Vegeta stops it from hitting, and Goku's like, yo, this nigga was about to blow up the planet. So then Vegeta's like, hey, yo, try that shit again, nigga. I wish you would. So Boo turns around and looks at him. He's like, all right, then. So he starts charging up a ginormous one. So Goku's like, yo, chill. But Boo just smiles. Bro said, bye-bye. <laughs> civilization planet gone this man really just showed up blew up the planet for no reason at all and didn't even say a word you know villains always be saying hmm, i'm gonna destroy earth freezer fair well i mean he did do it in resurrection after but he did it like a cell i'm gonna blow up the earth and there's nothing you can do fair <laughs> boo bro didn't even say a word he just did it. I mean, we should have known he was about that life when the first episode he shows up in is called The End of Earth. So after this, this Damn. man rebuilds himself almost immediately, learns instant transmission, <laughs> then starts going from planet to planet, 
blowing up every single one searching for Goku and Vegeta. Man said, that fate is not running away from me. So then Boo does one of the craziest things I have ever seen. And this is where he cemented himself in my books as the ultimate menace. He went to heaven to beat the brakes off a dead <laughs> I beg your pardon? He went to go get more smoke from the dead ops. Look at <laughs> Oh my god. This man said, hey, listen, I know it is I just blew up all these planets. But now I'm about to go to the heavens. Somebody gonna have to catch this fade. <laughs> oh shit. Get Krillin and Yamcha, they like, oh my god, bro. Ain't no way this is happening right now. Boo said, f that rest in peace. I'm whooping that ass again. So this man starts beating the brakes off of everybody. Oh my god, bro, he Krillin with a three piece combo, then started suplexing him with his antenna. Oh no, that's, that so is now this man is ready to wipe everybody from existence. But well, then he senses Goku and Vegeta again, and he's like, oh, time to go. Like, bro, imagine you are in heaven resting for eternal peace and you see your op come trying to get some more smoke. Like, bruh, mm -hmm. that, that's just outlandish. So he pulls up to the Kai world and he's like, ah, yes, <laughs> my fade. So he starts fighting Goku. And while he's fighting this man, this man starts emoting, laughing and dancing while he's pummeling this man. <laughs> Look, bro, can't even form words, but he's still talking sh <laughs> You Beach nigga. But ladies and gentlemen, what we really have to get to though is the absolute violation, absolute ass whooping he gave to Vegeta. Like, good God, he was pummeling this man. Bro saying, hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to make your hairline more fed up than it already is. So Vegeta just ends up getting laid out. But then he ends up getting back up, so Boo's like, hmm, so you wanna be a black Air Force, huh? I right, then consider this initiation. So bro ends up indenting his foot in his spine. Then the nigga said, go moon, no moon, no. And started choking the life out of man. Bro, oh my God. And that was all she wrote for Vegeta. <laughs> he was done. So then Mr. Satan wanted some smoke, but <laughs> come on, bro. My toes! <laughs> my organs, my feet. <laughs> so then Fat Boo pulls up. So Kid Boo like, hmm, ooga, ooga, ooga. If it isn't the big ass bubble gum shrimp looking motherfucker. So we just started wailing on Fat Boo, bro is wailing on himself. He is fading the good version of himself. Look at him, bro decided to take a whole time out on him. Then he grabs him and starts gut checking him. Bro said, I'm about to make you lose your breakfast, lunch, and your dinner. And Fat Boo was done too. So the way they had to beat this man is just absolutely mind boggling. They had to get everybody, the whole damn earth, to give this man Goku some energy so he could extinguish this damn menace. The thing is he started to push it back, but the plot kicked in and the ultimate menace was slain. Damn. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why little homie sits in the front. Like some of the stuff he was doing was just unexplainable. He faded the entire cast, blew up the earth on the first episode he showed up in, faded his ops in heaven, as well as deleting the entire human population. <laughs> Dog. So yeah, that's basically it. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to follow your boy on IG and Twitter. I'll have the poll up for the next video the day after this is uploaded. And uh, I'm out of here. Hey, listen, listen, man. I am glad it is that I went back to some older videos of CJ because, listen, he said L plot armor. <laughs> you know, plot armor is always going to win within anime shows, bro. But, hey, listen, that, that, that nigga Majin Buu is a menace, but W reaction, WCJ, I'm off of this thing.